Welcome to a quick tip tutorial on Anime Studio Pro. In this tutorial, we are going to cover masks. Now, there's different ways you can use masks and different ways that they're used for. But in these examples, I'm going to show four easy examples and by the end of it, I think you'll pretty much grasp how masks work. So first, we're going to start with masking a mouth. As you can see, it looks pretty bad. You got the mouth base, the tongue, the teeth, but it's all kind of funky. It's all teeth are coming out of the mouth and everything. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go and you're going to create a file group. And the group is here. This is the symbol for the group. You're going to have your vector layers. Make sure that the mouth, the tongue, and the teeth are all drawn in separate vector layers. And you will grab each of those vector layers and drag them into the mouth. Having the order of the mouth as the bottom, the base, and then whatever details you're adding to the mouth, such as the tongue and the teeth, those you will have above in the order as you normally would inside of a mouth. You would not have the teeth below like that, unless the tongue was sticking out or something. So right here, you'd go to mouth, you double click on the mouth group, go to masking, hide all, apply, and as you can see, it applied this to our little drawing here. So now you have the mouth um, as the base, uh, best way to look at it, as at least for me, is if you're looking to a hole. A hole with nothing coming out of it. But the mouth is going to be the hole. Um, you have the, the tongue, that is the second layer, coming through the hole, the teeth. So all these are sitting inside of this hole, but they're not coming out of the hole. That's just the best way to, to think about it, is just stacked layers, one on top of the other and the uh, mouth is kind of like the window. Just imagine this was a wide hole filled with a black space. Okay, so the second example is we're gonna go into the car um, example here. And here we got two pinstripes on the side of the car. Same idea, you're gonna have your group layer and then you'll have your detail, in my case the stripes, and you'll have the car or the base layer or the hole or window or however you want to look at it. So go into the car, double click, go into your masking, hide all, hit apply, and OK. So that is that. Same thing. Here we got two gauges. This is what we want it to look like. This is currently what it looks like. And if we go into our gauge, we got our group here, um, our group layer, and then we have our four vector layers here. We got the bottom, the top D, I don't know what that means, the needle, and we got the round thing. Don't really know what it's called. Okay, so go into here, make sure all those are in the group layer. The way that you can tell is they are indented. Go to masking, hide all, hit apply, and okay. You got the same thing going on there. Same thing with the shirt. So anytime you're wanting to add details, say, to either a seat or something, always keep the seat, always keep the shirt, always keep whatever it is that you're adding details to on the bottom. So we're gonna go into the shirt layer. We got the torso, we got the shirt, and we got cats. So I got some cats that I drew there, and I want them not sticking out of the shirt, but I want them making like a pattern in the shirt. So we're gonna go to our double click. In this case, so here's another way that you can use masks is you can actually have them in bone layers as well. In bones and groups you can have you can have masks. Because I had this as a bone layer, that is the reason why this is in a bone layer. Come here to your masking, hide all, apply, okay, perfect. And that's how you do it. This has been a quick tip tutorial to do masks. Be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for the next quick tips.